Hey guys, it's me and I'm just having a quick brief introduction to the video before we get started. Just to say that I've had a lot going on at the moment. I'm very busy. I've got a lot of things in my mind and things like that at the moment. So if I'm not uploading too much, it's just because I've not got the chance to or there's something in the way, basically. And as you can tell, we're kind of having some new furniture in the house because... I need to stop playing on the spinny chair. Okay then, let's crack on with the video. Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. Uh, I'm actually back in the UK. I'm back in my room. <laughs> my room, my room. And I've gone for a different angle this time for recording because we're having a lot of changes at home at the moment. So that's why I'm recording here for a change instead of where I usually record over there. This week I thought I'd discuss some things that I think are important to take in your hand luggage when you go abroad. And these are my recommendations. Everyone's recommendations will be different, but it's just important to think about. Some things that are going to be important to you when you travel is your nice big or important rucksack or travel bag which we will be taking in the cabin of the plane. So for this I have my nice red bag. Because we all know me, one thing that's very important is my hairbrush. That goes to the bottom of my main part of the bag so that I know where it is. I don't normally use it when I'm on flights and that but it's there, and it's there for when I get to the hotel. Some of my other essentials are wipes, so handy hand wipe things, and they go in the front of my bag, so that, because most of the time I have my luggage underneath the seat rather than overhead, I can access my stuff nice and quickly. Although this is in particular to me, I like to get some sweets nice and early for the plane, which can go in there as well. I tend to get boiled sweets and things because I really do suffer with my ears when I fly. So they're nicely in the front. Those are from Spain because I didn't get any when I was actually in the UK. Great one. My travel bible. I just take that everywhere with me. Tissues. I suffer with my nose a bit as well. I think it's linked in with my ears. The next lot of things that I'm going to be putting in my bag are things that are going to go in this main section here and will involve everything from my wires for my various devices to some spare clothing and things like that just in case you ever suffer from any issues when you decide to take a trip. For me, I always have to take sunglasses everywhere because I do suffer with my eyes. For me, an important thing to take is a portable charger. I've just gone out and bought a new one, a Pebble portable charger from Tesco. Uh, but that is ready to use for my flight. What I always think is important is taking a travel guide. And because I'm off to Berlin, I'm taking this Lonely Planet Berlin guide, which was wrote about 10 years ago. So it's not very up to date, but everything in Lonely Planet seems to have loads of information about everything whether it's Berlin or the local area I either take Lonely Planet or Rough Guide these bits are very important these are noise cancelling headphones I normally take my Apple headphones but for a, on a flight in particular I do like some noise cancelling headphones don't have to cost you loads I actually got these I think off a flight because it's got an aircraft adaption another thing I like to take is a nice book because I haven't finished John Steinbeck's The Great of Wrath, that is what I'm going to be taking. And the bookmark just fell out. Great. The phone. I only have a cheap phone, but it's very important that you take one of these just in case that you need it. Remember that if you are going to take a phone, either turn it off before you get on the plane or make sure it's switched to aeroplane mode. Most airlines will allow you to use your devices on board as long as they have an aeroplane mode setting. That said, if you fly through China, 
you will not be allowed to use any mobile phone in flight. Make sure anything that you put in your bag, like that, is allowed in where you're flying from and the country that you are riding into. The next thing I'm also going to point out, and this is in particular for the UK as well, is make sure you've got your wallet. One thing I do like to take is my Costa Coffee card. Now, whether you use Costa Coffee in the UK or not, this doesn't matter. Most air British airports have a Costa Coffee, and what this allows you is to collect some points and to have some free drinks. Costa Coffee is the same price at an airport in the UK as it is in the normal high street, plus they allow you to use your points card to get points for drinks and to collect free ones. So it's worth taking with you to remember your Costa Coffee card even if you just use it at the airport. Make sure you take your device with you. One other thing I like to take is a bottle. Now, this is very important. All bottles must be empty. What you can do, it allows you to fill up with free water the other side, because you know how much airports charge. I'm going to be taking a bottle of Arizona, my favorite iced tea. Another thing if you like me, and have loads of devices, Get yourself a bag, I've got a H&M one here, and inside this bag I have all my wires, a spare set of headphones, and that's where I'll be keeping all my electronic stuff from the plane. If it's in a bag, then you know where it is, and that's no hassle. One more thing I recommend to take is one of these. You've got your wallet, but this goes over your head, just like that, and you put it down there have your passport, any important things, but I also I like to keep my euros in here and my British pounds in my bag, or your foreign currency, and I like to keep an SD card. Make sure you take a spare pair of underwear and a spare pair of socks. Should anything go missing, you've got something nice and clean to change into. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it and you've learned something from it, or if you have learnt something about travelling, make sure you give me a big subscribe there and a like down below. Make sure you do subscribe if you are new to my channel because it really does help. And there's a load of other videos just like this. Not necessarily about travelling but loads of different things that you can click on as well. Make sure you follow me on Twitter which is also above and in between that is my Snapchat. As you can probably imagine I've been Snapchatting loads when I've been on holiday and hopefully it's going to be the same this time in Berlin. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye peeps.